Hey folks, Matt from IreTheImage.com. Very interesting comment here from Dave White on a video we'd done uh, about the Nikon 80 to 200 f2.8D versus the Nikon 70 to 300 VR. Um, one's a faster lens. The 80 to 200 f2.8D is is the predecessor to the newer 70 to 300. Uh, sorry, 70 to 200 f2.8 VRs, um, and we're up in a couple iterations now of that. Um, and I I always really liked the older. Actually, I had a couple of the push pull old 2.8s. I think the first one I had wasn't even a D. Love that lens. A lot of people don't like the push pull. One of the negatives is the push pull can act like a vacuum and suck some dust into that lens. Um, however, I loved it. And, and honestly, even if there's dust in there, it takes a, would take a lot before you'd even really start to see it in your photos. Maybe in very certain situations, you could catch a light on it or something, but you'd almost never notice it. I never did. In any case, Dave's comment here is F2.8 versus F5.6. Common sense, F2.8, smiley face. So Dave's basically saying, common sense would say, get the F2.8. And that's an interesting comment. And maybe Dave is a pro or has shot pro. Because that's what a pro would think. When I was still shooting weddings and still shooting professionally, my mind would automatically go towards that. And I always would usually shoot with um, a setup of F2.8 zooms and a fast prime. I've since changed my thinking over the years, and that has to do with a few things. Um, namely, uh, I mean, basically fast lenses, if you want to trace it back, are from the days of film where we wouldn't, weren't able to shoot at high ISOs, where even ISO 400 could be a little too grainy for some people's tastes. So you got faster lenses, so you didn't have to shoot that high. Now we have digital cameras that shoot at incredibly high ISOs, super clean, even older ones, even APS-C ones. 3200 is nothing on most of these new cameras. Just about any camera that's new out there, you can shoot at 3200 pretty comfortably. And if it's not great right out of camera, you can clean it up with some of the amazing software like Lightroom or Photoshop. So F2.8 is not as necessary. Um, and you know, if you're a regular viewer, that the 24 to 120 F4 VR, I'm a big fan of that lens. It'd be my number one setup if I was getting a pair of, if I was starting out today and I wanted a budget setup to shoot events and weddings, I would get a pair of 610s, Nikon D610s with a 24 to 120 F4 VR and a 85 F1.8G. Same thing in Canon. I would get a, um, probably an original 6D for budget reasons because I'm not talking about video here, I'm talking about shooting photography. So a couple of 60s with a 24 to 105 F4L and an 85 F1.8G. I could shoot that happily all day long. I might add a 70 to 200 F4 from Canon or a 70 to 200 F4 from Nikon. I also might get the Nikon 70 to 300 VR, where he's saying F5.6 to F2.8, common sense. If I was shooting weddings and events, I probably would want the F4. But even the 5.6 could be usable at high ISO. Um, it might be at that point where you're seeing the AF struggle a little bit. But to me, it's not always a common sense thing now. I mean, one of the big, big things in this situation, 70 to 300 versus the uh, 80 to 200 F2.8D, that's a much heavier, bigger lens, that F2.8D. The 70 to 300 is smaller, lighter. It has 100 mil more reach, which is huge. And it costs less. So for a lot of people, those would uh, advantages would outweigh the advantages of the speed that you get. Because that's really all you get is speed advantage. Maybe a little bit optically, but that 70 to 300 is a heck of a sleeper in the sense that it's a very good performing lens. So really you're just getting speed, the faster aperture, the f2.8. And a lot of people would rather have the reach and the size and weight and less money of the 70 to 300. Which camp are you guys in? Are you, these days with the higher ISO cameras, are you okay with um, less speed on the lens, more reach, smaller and lighter like the 70 to 300? Or do you still go all out for the fastest lens you can get in F2.8 any day? Are you more like Dave or are you more like Matt? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Just curious, wondering what the average, what our average viewer out there prefers now. Uh, I certainly, I really love the arsenal of F4 Pro level lenses out there from both Canon and Nikon. I think they're great. Sony's got some too. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below. Thanks for your comment, Dave. Got me thinking. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.